everyone welcome to my water engineering youtube channel today i will discuss about chlorination that means break point chlorination i will show you this one about chlorination and in my background i can see here many i have already writing here this is uh, our chlorination discussion basically chlorination this is an big lesson okay now i will try to my best to introduce you chlorination with a one view okay thank you okay uh, now i will show you and we will be cleared about our breakpoint chlorination and uh, here we can see in my uh, front uh, i have already written uh, writing here and a lecture uh, on breakpoint chlorination okay now i will introduce you here we can see this is breakpoint chlorination with chlorine and chloramination carb Actually, I will discuss about uh, breakpoint chlorination with the help of uh, chlorine and chloramination carb. And we know actually chlorine. This is chlorine. Chlorine is widely used disinfectant. Uh, disinfectant. Uh, uh, but uh, one disadvantage is better taste in greater amount. That means chlorine. Chlorine is our widely used disinfectant. But one disadvantage of chlorine is uh, when we will use. Uh, great um, greater amount chlorine then uh, water test will be better okay now i will show i will show here that means i have already draw here three column this is uh, this is we can see here one line this is one side and uh, this one uh, this one is another one column and this side is another one column okay let's start from our uh, first column we can see first topic this is 100 percent pure or portable water 100 percent pure or portable water that means zero bacteria uh, this water containing zero bacteria zero organic matter and zero or the other trace elements okay actually the, this is our imaginary imagination uh, or imagine imaginary water actually okay we can see here at first now we will uh, see here uh, chlorination or chlorine dose here we can say this is uh, my x-axis and this is uh, this is my y axis okay now i will put here at first uh, this this uh, uh, this x axis uh, i put here chlorine dose that means chlorine dose uh, milligram per liter or this is uh, chlorine added and this side uh, this curve will show total residual chlorine milligram per liter okay this is 100% pure water so if i add 2 milligram per liter chlorine so this is pure water so 2 milligram per liter will be residual here no chlorine will be consumed by water because this is 100 percent pure water so uh, then 4 milligram per liter then residual will be 4 milligram liter 6 milligram per liter then residual, uh, residual chlorine will be 6 milligram per liter actually uh, our carb will follow exactly 45 degree line okay 45 degree line and we can see this is follow our y equals to mx equation of straight line okay uh, now i will go another one another one curve uh, basically i will try to my base uh, step by step i want to clear about our chlorination okay now this is raw water that means this is surface water uh, for explanation of this system at first uh, i will show you uh, here i have take a closed a bucket system closed bucket system that means closed a bucket of water without presence of ammonia that means uh, in this bracket uh, in this bucket i have water but uh, here this water uh, no containing uh, ammonia okay now and uh, here we can see to understand Chlorine and chloramination control, this simple line show you how can we draw our chlorine and chloramination control. Okay, at first now this is our uh, closed bucket system. Okay, this, uh, this water is containing no ammonia. So at first I put chlorine here. Okay, put chlorine here. Water will consume this chlorine because water here have our bacteria organic matter. Another one chlorine put here then water will consume, consume our uh, chlorine and again put here chlorine water will consume uh, and the after consume then uh, after consuming uh, after a speak uh, after a specific time then when we will add here chlorine then chlorine uh, will be here residual that means water does not consume any water after a specific period okay 
cause this water contain bacteria organic matter after finishing this uh, after finish bacteria or oxi oxidize this uh, organic matter then our added uh, chlorine will be residual chlorine okay we can see uh, we can see here this is carb okay this side this is our chlorine dose milligram per liter that means this is chlorine added and this side also chlorine uh, residual chlorine milligram per liter okay uh, now here we can see at first chlorine when we add first chlorine here water consumed this one okay here we can see here first chlorine add no consume no consumed uh, sorry uh, here at first we add chlorine okay water consumed this chlorine so here no residual chlorine again add chlorine so water consumed this chlorine so here no residual again this side we can see here no residual chlorine. but after a specific time here we can see uh, after this point then residual uh, chlorine residual building carb here start that means chlorine residual carb start to build here that means uh, from here to here we have no residual because when we have put uh, chlorine in water in uh, organic matter and bacteria have consumed this chlorine okay here we can see our uh, uh, here added and measured chlorine that means from here to here uh, our added and measured chlorine we can see and after this point overcome chlorine demand then start to building residual chlorine carb okay uh, this is our residual chlorine cup and here we can see here this is for 45 degree exactly 45 degree straight line okay now i will go here from here we can see uh, from here to here from this curve we can get that curve okay because when uh, this water at first i have said closed a bucket of water without presence of ammonia this curve this curve is for without ammonia water but this curve for with ammonia water that means when our water will continue uh, while water co contain ammonia then our curve will push here push here up down when water will uh, contain ammonia ammo containing uh, contain ammonia then water will push uh, that means curve will push up here okay we can see this this version okay this is our another one curve and uh, this is uh, this curve will develop when our water surface water or raw water contain ammonia that means here, from here uh, i can uh, i can clear you this is chlorine and chloramination curve this is chlorine and chloramination curve now we can uh, i can uh, state three condition now added chlorine now added chlorine in existing ammonia in water okay uh, that that means I have uh, I have a water bucket uh, and this water also containing uh, containing ammonia. Now I will put here chlorine. Okay. Again another one. Dose both chlorine and ammonia together. Beside we can dose both chlorine and ammonia together and added ammonia already has been chlorinated water. That means uh, and a bu a bucket of water already has been chlorinated. Now I will add here ammonia. Uh, above three cases now i will show you ever by this curve okay here uh, here we can say this is chlorine dose milligram per liter here also residual chlorine milligram per liter and this is uh, here also i i will show you this y-axis two two item one is residual chlorine and another one is total and free ammonia okay and for this uh, benefit, I have uh, divided this uh, this curve three zone. This is zone one, zone two, zone three. In zone one, uh, I will brief here. Okay, at first here we can see. Okay, first I add I add I added here chlorine. Here we we can see no chlorine residual. After this point, after this point, our curve start to give residual chlorine here. Then this is our maximum point. Okay, now I will show this point. Why this is here? Uh, why uh, from origin to this point our curve is flat? Cause this uh, our surface water or, or raw water have iron, manganese, nitride, sulfide, or other reducing compound. So here no residual chlorine. This compound will consume uh, will consume chlorine. So here no residual chlorine. Okay, after this point, then we can see here uh, our our curve start to uh, start to form a residual curve and here al already start uh, and start form 
start from chloramine okay start from uh, here we can see start from uh, chloramine ammonia monochloride uh, here we start from and here we can see uh, chloramine this is uh, ideal state of that means uh, when after this point our car will start to uh, make a residual chlorine and this one will be combined chlorine also actually uh, monochloramine dichloramine dichloramine at first from here our carbs start to make a monochloramine this is our peak point of monochloramine this is and this is this point and uh, this is an ideal state of disinfectant state this is ideal state okay here we can see and this point uh, this point chlorine is to ammonia nitrogen ratio is 5 is to 1 okay 5 is to 1 and we can see from this point uh, up to this point here make like this curve cause here nom natural organic matter that means our water contain uh, ammonia here also trihalomethane also form but most part are monochloramine that means up to this point we will get our monochloramine and this is ideal state of as and disinfectant okay after that mono after that uh, after this point when we will add here chlorine here then start dichloramine trichloramine and our curve will go down gradually and this is not ideal state actually this is called this is called break point okay this is called break point and this point residual current radically dropped radically dropped here and this all this area we can see this all area are now combined chlorine this is also combined chlorine and after this point then our curve also follow exactly 45 degree line that means this is linear increase of residual chlorine and this is residual chlorine that means hypochlorous acid HOCl or OCl negative that means hypochlorite ion this one actually depends on pH and here we can see 80 to 95 percent available free residual chlorine are from total combined chlorine okay uh, now uh, here another another one another one thing i will show here at a time i will uh, i will show you how can we give chlorine dose or uh, reverse reversely how can we give here ammonia uh, ammonia dose okay same here zone one zone two zone three chlorine is to chlorine uh, chlorine and ammonia nitrogen ratio less than uh, 5 is to 1 this zone chlorine and ammonia nitrogen ratio is greater than 5 is to 1 and here uh, greater than 9 is to 1 okay here to uh, this line show total or free ammonia or this line also show total residual chlorine and this is start from here okay here no at first we will we will add it here chlorine dose then our carb will go like this okay when here uh, we will start here chlorine addition we can see this is dot dot this dot dot line free ammonia this is free ammonia okay and this is uh, this is our total total ammonia line total ammonia dot dot line okay when we add here chlorine we can see here our maximum uh, maximum free ammonia is here okay then when we will grow our residual curve is going high okay our free ammonia gradually here we can see reduce and when this is our residual chlorine is maximum point our free ammonia is zero okay then our residual chlorine is gradually start to down and from here then after this break point then again crumb uh, again start to build uh, residual chlorine curve okay uh, okay here uh, okay guys uh, now uh, now i will show you uh, i will show you here now same reversely be, re, uh, reversely i will show you now this is chlorinated water now from here i will add i will add here okay ammonia okay now from this side i added here ammonia when here we add here ammonia we can see this point our chlorine is high okay this is uh, here chlorine is high okay ammonia is added when ammonia is added chlorine is gradually down and up to this point okay we can see total ammonia is gradually up here we can see total ammonia gradually up here and up to this point then uh, up to this point here 
uh, we can see up to and here we can maximum we can get our maximum ammonia and and here chlorine chlorine uh, start to gradually reduce and here uh, chlorine is uh, zero that means here this is the chlorine zero but here total ammonia is maximum okay uh, now we now i will show you what is uh, free chlorine and combined chlorine and what is total chlorine we can see here uh, we can we can see here uh, at first uh, i can i can say here uh, this is free chlorine this is free chlorine that means chlorine at first i will add chlorine into water that means chlorine plus water uh, condition is pa is greater than 5 so reaction will take place beside reaction will not take place okay chlorine plus water this will produce hocl hypochlorous acid and hydrochloric acid then again hocl star hocl start when pa is greater than 8 hocl dissolve uh, hydrogen ion plus OCl negative hypochlorite ion and when pH is less than 7 then hydrogen ion and OCl negative associate uh, made HOCl okay HOCl and this is this is our free this is our free chlorine this is our free chlorine now here I will show you combined chlorine when our water will contain ammonia so ammonia will react with HOCl that means hypochlorous acid when P is greater than 7.5 this is an condition then make monochloramine NH2Cl plus uh, pani uh, water and here NH2Cl plus HOCl also and here condition is uh, pH greater than 5 and less than 6.5 and uh, make uh, dichloramine and uh, water and also uh, dichloramine uh, plus HOCl pH less than 4.4 and uh, trichloramine and pani and we can see this is NH2Cl and OHCl and this is our P here pH reasons 5 pH is greater than 5 less than 6.5 actually this is our good condition for reaction okay and uh, here we can see HOCl hypochlorous acid chloride ion are a free chlorine this is common form of chemical for widely used in water treatment plant as an disinfectant okay disinfection so HOCl and another one thing HOCl is 100 100 to or 80 to 100 HOCl is 80 to 100 times more effective uh, disinfectant than hypochlorite ion so for getting more HOCl we need pH less than 7 that means so we required pH is pH greater than 5 less than 7 so uh, by this uh, by this uh, condition we can we can check this is our this is our good condition for reaction take place okay this is better condition for reaction uh, reaction take place okay and uh, here can see uh, here this is chlorine plus HOCl and hypochlorite ion chlorine this is elemental chlorine or moly molecular form and here uh, HOCl this form known as uh, that means chlorine HOCl and hypochlorite this uh, three form this is form known as free available chlorine that means these three are free available chlorine okay uh, now this side uh, i will show this uh, th this is our free chlorine okay this is our free chlorine and this is our combined chlorine and here i can uh, i can show you free chlorine and combined chlorine both have germicidal effect both can kill bacteria okay but free available chlorine is 25 percent more effective than combined chlorine uh, combined chlorine okay uh, free residual chlorine free residual chlorine instant kill bacteria another one advantage of residual chlorine is free chlorine instant uh, free chlorine instant kill bacteria but combined chlorine give long term germicidal effect okay already i have uh, discussed uh, this point and this part also and all, already i have uh, discussed this curve now i i will go another uh, now i will go another one curve you can see here this is another one this is our applied or chlorine dose here also our residual chlorine actually if this is our 100 percent water 100 uh, percent pure water then this one will follow exactly 45 degree uh, line okay 
now this is not our pure water this is surface or raw water now this is containing ammonia and this is uh, same again like this uh, like this curve and again start here uh, here no residual and start to build up residual and follow not exactly 45 degree line we can see this is exactly 45 degree line but this is not exactly 45 degree line okay start to build up here and this point we can see this is b point and this is our a point here no residual but this is b point at point b water will be highly odorous that means here water will be highly odorous or here we will, we will get bitter taste and after point b after point b a b residual chlorine suddenly dropped cause organic matter start getting oxidized after point b our residual chlorine curve will suddenly drop cause organic matter start getting oxidized okay after point b then we will list here point c at point c order will be disappeared okay cause at point c order will be disappeared cause at c all the organic matter all the organic matter uh, will be oxidized okay c point uh, oxidized okay and this is c point and c point is our break point chlorination and this point concern us how much chlorine dose has consumed that means c point concerned us already water how much chlorine dose has consumed okay okay and this is we can see this area this is uh, this area formed combined chlorine that means this all are combined chlorine here also here also combined chlorine but after this c point from here then start to residual chlorine that means here we have a small amount here combined chlorine you can see this is our dot dot uh, dot dot car, uh, dot dot line this is our residual also that, that means uh, in c point we we have a small in below the c point we have a small amount combined chlorine also then again start to 45 degree straight line and here applied residual chlorine applied chlorine up this this area this curve start that means here this curve follow applied chlorine equals to residual chlorine here applied chlorine that means uh, we we put here 2 milligram per liter then residual chlorine will be sure to 4 residual will be 4 that uh, that means this one will be same same and this one will be exactly uh, follow 45 degree and and c point c plus 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 milligram per liter now we will keep this dose for fissure contamination for fissure contamination okay already we have uh, i have already show you and this is we can say this is exactly this is 45 degree. y equals to x when applied chlorine equals to residual chlorine and this is not exactly uh, follow 45 degree line cause residual chlorine increasing not in the 45 degree line residual chlorine is less than applied chlorine cause some bacteria will be killed here okay guys uh, at uh, already i have uh, i have uh, given an overview of chlorination actually this is a uh, big lesson uh, in chlorination this is very difficult to show you one by one lecture this chlorination and here i will show you now types of chlorination we can see types of chlorination plain chlorination we can see this is plain chlorination uh, plain chlorination water treat by only chlorine in plain chlorination water will treat by only chlorine in emergencies in emergency site we cannot provide full treatment in uh, when in site we cannot provide full treatment in this case we do plain chlorination that's why plain chlorination uh, that's why we will uh, we will do our plain chlorination applicable when we can apply plain chlorination plain chlorination applicable when water is less polluted and less turbidity have and by plain chlorination we can remove color bacteria uh, color bacteria organic matter uh, we can remove this is not complete treatment of water okay now pre chlorination pre pre chlorination actually done before sedimentation and coagulation uh, that means pre chlorination done before sedimentation and coagulation coagulation actually it uh, actually it's improve the process of sedimentation and coagulation uh, re and uh, redu uh, reduce the reduce the load on filters bed actually uh, for this purpose we will uh, do pre chlorination now post chlorination we can see post chlorination after filtration after filtration we do post chlorination actually this is a normal chlorination 
cause uh, post chlorination done after filtration okay now superchlorination superchlorination very high quantity chlorine added that means 5 to 15 milligram per liter chlorine in uh, added in superchlorination cause when uh, our water treatment plants in epidermic condition that means superchlorination done uh, superchlorination that means superchlorination is very high quantity chlorine added and this amount is 5 to 15 milligram per liter and when this one is applied when our water treatment plant is in epidermic condition one of the reason one of the reason of superchlorination one of the reason of superchlorination it will contain cyst of histolytica one of the reason of uh, superchlorination is when this one contains cyst of histolytica then we will uh, do superchlorination cause and cyst uh, and cyst of histolytica also cause a amoebic dysentery okay now dechlorination we can see a dechlorination dechlorination done for superchlorination cause superchlorination uh, superchlorination produce bad taste of water after doing superchlorination then water will produce bad taste for this reason we will do dechlorination after dechlorination 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 milligram per liter residual chlorine remain in our water okay dechlorination here we can see dechlorination can be done by following can be done by following here dechlorination agents of dechlorination um, that means by this agent we can do our dechlorination one is aeration sulfur dioxide gas activated uh, carbon and here also sodium thiosulfate and these are used in dechlorination dechlorination process and here we, so we can see double chlorination that means pre pre chlorination plus post chlorination this is called double chlorination okay chlorine dose now i will just a brief you what is chlorine dose uh, we can see here up to this c point we can uh, calculate how mass chlorine can uh, chlorine consumed by water up to point c this is uh, from from c point we can uh, from c point we can determine our chlorine dose okay chlorine dose up to point c up to point c we can measured up to point c we can measure our we can measure our consumed chlorine demand after reach the break point c after reach the break point c we add 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 milligram per liter chlorine actually this is our chlorine dose uh, chlorine dose after a specific contact period after a specific contact period such uh, such as uh, such as after 10 to 20 minutes that means this is our contact periods after uh, 10 to 20 minutes after uh, after uh, this period then we will add 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 milligram uh, per liter chlorine uh, and actually uh, and we can see actually this uh, maybe it can vary in uh, water to water and source to source maybe it can vary okay already i have tried to my best uh, to clear all you about our break point chlorination because break point chlorination is very important in our uh, water treatment plant uh, or water engineering that's why i have uh, i have tried to my best in one lecture or one uh, one uh, one lecture i have tried to my best to show you what is break point chlorination what is what is chlorine and chloramination curve all i have already uh, tried to my best to show you uh, i hope uh, everybody will enjoy this one thank you everyone thank you